Aloha, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Aloha, touching his him followers. <laughs> uh, I am sitting in my car today doing my live because I was getting ready to go for a walk, but it's pouring down raining. So I'm just going to sit here and just talk to you guys for a minute. Just, just, just conversate. Just let you guys know what what's on my heart, what's on God's heart right now. Um, I just posted something um, a few minutes ago, and I just wanted to just kind of go a little bit deeper into what God is saying in this season. Um, there have been so many prophetic words that have been released um, about what's going on in our earth or what is proposed to go on in our earth and in our land. And, and when I made the post a few minutes ago, um, the post was, trust me, I got you. God, God is saying that. Trust me, I got you. And when I made the post and I literally was talking about um, situations and circumstances that are happening in my life right now that I'm trusting God for, for the manifestation. But as God was speaking to me, he literally said, trust me, America. Trust me. And today is 4th of July. Um, there are a lot of mixed feelings about this holiday right now um, because there's so much division, so much angst, so much um, going on. And people are sitting back and they're recalling all of the wrongs, all of the hurt, everything that's uh, uh, inside their hearts of resurfacing because of the situations and circumstances that we're seeing in our land right now. But God is saying, and he continues to say, trust me, trust me. Do you not trust me? I have never failed in a promise. One of the promises that he, he, he spoke was that revival is coming to our country. A revival is coming to our land. Revival is coming. But we as people of God, we as intercessors, we have children of the Most High. We have to lean in. We have to trust God. The scripture that, I, that God uh, just rung in my ear all morning, a familiar scripture, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not to your own understanding. Lean not to your own understanding in all thy ways, acknowledge him and let him direct your path. He is directing our path when we trust him, when we acknowledge him, we do, when we don't lean to our own understanding. In other words, when we don't look at what we see and think about uh, from our perspective, from our lens, from from what's going on right now in the in in our in our physical sight, because we can't trust our emotions, we can't trust um, um, our thought processes right now. If we're not thinking from a lens of Christian dome, if we're not thinking from a lens and uh, from the perspective of the Bible and what the what the Word of God says about the situation, what the Word of God says about the circumstance, and we're not leaning and 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 depending on Christ for the answers to our problems, if we're not trusting Him, if we're not acknowledging Him, so that He shall direct our path. For me, for me. Um, I'm trusting God. I'm trusting God, no matter what I see, because I cannot afford to trust my emotions. I cannot afford to tr trust my thought process. I cannot afford to trust um, uh, my feelings, because those are all uh, carnal. Those are in 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 the realm, uh, not of the spirit, but of the natural. Um, um, and I cannot afford to trust those. So I have to lean in to the Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, what do you say about this? What are you saying about uh, what's going on the, in the earth right now? And when God spoke to me, he said, Mary, trust me. I got you. Trust me. I got you, my daughter. Trust me. I got you. Everything that's going on in the land right now, everything that you see with your natural eyes, I am all, I'm in control of it. I'm in control of it. I, I, I'm, I'm. It, it, it seems as though the enemy is, is, is taking over. But I'm in control. I'm in control. Nothing happens in this land without God's permission. Without it first going through His fingers. Without it going through His fingers. Even Job. If you think about the story of Job, um, the enemy went to and fro, looking throughout the land to find someone um, where he can cause chaos and where he can cause issues and division. And God said, God brought Job 
to them. He says, have you considered my servant Job? So if you're going through a situation and circumstance right now and you don't understand it, guess what? Have you considered my servant Mary? God has placed you, has allowed this situation to come upon you to make you stronger, to make you better, to make you wiser so that you can fight the good fight of faith through him, through him. So America, you have been considered. We see all the situations. We see the circumstance. We see what's going on. But America, you have been considered. We place the America at the feet of Jesus. The world is watching America. And the world is saying, what is going on in the United States right now? Guess what? We have been considered. God's saying, trust me. Trust me. Trust me. I got you. <laughs> In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. I just came on this morning just to give you just a word of encouragement, not to uh, uh, to give up, not to quit, but allow God to direct your path. Allow him to, to direct your steps. Allow him to, to uh, be, um, be your Lord of all. Allow him to do it. Allow him. Don't, uh, 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 God bless you, uh, Marissa. Don't uh, uh, worry about what's going on. Don't worry about uh, what you see. And I know that's easy for me to say, but I'm telling you, I'm not telling you for what I heard. I'm telling you for what I know. God is able and he wants you to trust him. Use your word as the weapon. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and allow him to direct your path. I ask that you like and share this video. This is a short pop-up. I want to go get my walk in because I need to, to get my exercise. I don't know if y'all can see it in my face, but I lost a few pounds. <laughs> I'm, I'm look, I'm lost. I'm trying, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to uh 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 push through and allow God to do a work, not only on the inside, but on the outside. Um, Cause he's letting me know, Mary, I have a great work for you to do. And I need you to be able to walk this out. <laughs> God bless you, Alex, amen. Make sure that you guys share the video, like and share, um, because this word is powerful. Because, you know, many times we look at, we look at our circumstances, excuse me. We look at our circumstances and we feel like they're overwhelming. We feel like they're so insurmountable, especially if you're dealing. Happy 4th of you, July to you, Alex. God bless you, sir, man of God. Um, they, they seem unsurmountable, unsurpassable, especially if you're dealing with another person. You're praying for another person. You're praying for a prodigal. You're praying for a loved one. It seems unsurmountable. But guess what? God says, I can do all things. His word says, I can do all things. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And, and, and the scripture that we have today that he said is tr to trust him. Trust in the Lord. God bless you, Sister Kathy. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. Don't lean to your own understanding. If you go by your feelings, you're going to fail. If you go by your thoughts, you're going to fail. If you continue to listen to the enemy, you're going to fail. But if you listen to the word of God, if you listen to the, if you, if you hide the word of here in, your, in your heart, if you hide that word in your heart and, and believe and trust God, I'm telling you, everything that he has promised to you will be manifested in his will and his way, in his time. So trust him and move out in your purpose. Move out in, in, in the plans that he has for you. Don't sit and, and just wait for the manifestation to come forth. There's a job that he has for you to do. There's something that he has for you to do. Seek him and ask him, Lord, while I'm waiting for my promise to be fulfilled, what is it that you have for me to do? What is it that you want me to do, God? What is, what, what, is there something you want me to do in, 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 in the kingdom? What in the world? What do you want me to do? <laughs> what is it that you would have for me to do? I'm just being honest with you. God has has really downloaded so many things um, that he wants for me to do in this season um, as I wait for the full manifestation because the manifestation is 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 for me is is a inch by inch. <laughs> it's a second by second, it's a minute by minute, it's a day by day, it's a week by week. So as I'm as I'm waiting for full manifestation of the promises of God, guess what? I'm not sitting on my seat to do nothing. I'm working in the kingdom. Amen. I'm trusting God. So God bless you. 
like and share um, so that some other people may be encouraged by this, this, this video. Amen. God bless you. Aloha.